Hi everyone, welcome to my Beads and Glitters and Subelia Beauty channel. Yes, I'm going to put this video on both of my channels so that uh, you can watch it and you can maybe try it if you want to and it's not beauty related so why not put it on both of my channels and this week I was sick and I was making lots of uh, hot water, lemon and honey uh, little recipe, homemade recipe to help me with my flu and coughing and and everything and since I'm going to make three videos today I was like I need more of that so since I'm cutting lemons I was like why not do my recipe of the detox infused detox water for the flat belly and I tried this recipe for more than a year now it's been almost two years and I've been sharing it on my Facebook personal page so I tried it I love it and I did try like infused water like with the berries and everything and I didn't like them and I really like this one here it really helps to get the flat belly but don't get me wrong I'm not any diet addict or whatever I'm not preaching this and and also yes I I can be an addict. I'm a shopping addict and compulsive buyer, but I'm not a diet addict and you know, don't take everything too serious. This is a detox water and it does really work. Like I said, I'm not a diet addict or something. I just do this water time to time when I feel like bloated and I feel that my belly is like too bloated and I don't feel good. I will do this water one time and I will finish the the whole infused water and that's it I'm not going crazy about this uh, I mean I don't do 10 10 days of detox or 30 days of detox nothing of that so uh, just a little bit of warning if you have an event to go just keep in mind that this recipe anyway for me it makes me burp a lot <laughs> and you will, uh, since it's uh, detoxing your body, you will need to go to the bathroom like uh, maybe more than normal and also maybe you can have some gas. Other than that, I didn't have any side effects, I didn't get sick or anything because uh, the ingredients that we are using, they are not harmful, they are not uh, chemicals or nothing, it's all natural things that you can you find in your fridge so before losing too much time on talking let's go ahead and I will show you what we will need but before that I will show you the container that you can use to do your infused water so before I show you the ingredients I'm just going to show you the, uh, the jars the tumblers anything that you can use to make your infused water depending what you want and what are your needs so first of all just keep in mind I'm a Costco addict so all of the things that you see here I bought them at Costco some of them were in uh, clearance specials or regular price and also I love my Contigo brand if you want to buy yourself tumblers or shakers anything go with Contigo because it's a really good brand and it will really last you a long time because just this here I have it for more than a year now a year and a half and still not stained and I can put them in the dishwasher safe it's all dishwasher safe so I have no problem and pretty much all of them it's uh, auto sealed so it doesn't spill so I really love them and this one here it came in a pack of two and you have one tube for uh, freezing water and you have the other one here it's to infuse your water and the other uh, one like this I, it's already in use so this is why I have this one and on top you just squeeze this two buttons here and you can see it's really nicely uh, sealed and you can easily remove your this one here and the cap here you can easily remove it it's twistable so I'm going to use this one here to uh, infuse my water 
and then after it's infused I'm going to put it in those because uh, now I don't have too much space on my fridge and these will be easier to store since again it's uh, auto sealed it will not uh, spill anywhere so it will be easier and if you go for bike riding or a walk or something you can easily put this uh, to your bag you have the hook here so I really love and it's a good size or if you are going to your work and you want to have infused water with you you can go with those and it was uh, a pack of three this one here and I bought them in uh, special and then you can have this one also it's a really good size and these are the shake and go tumbler and you have the straw that will come with it and once you take out the straw it will close so it doesn't spill I will show you like when you put the straw and you remove it it will close and it doesn't spill I test it and I love this and again this morning I had my uh, my appointment for my eyes this is why my eyes are bigger now it's getting uh, to their normal size and now I can see it more clearly. I had my appointment and I made my smoothie and I brought it with me and I had no problem putting it in my bag on my way home. So again, this one also in pack of three and I will just show you the package here. And again, I'm a hoarder. I bought two pack because I want to be sure that I have enough at home because sometimes my husband uh, loves them so and you have also three uh, spare um, straw with them and you have the matching straw with them and then uh, Costco this year had the Aladdin mason jar it's plastic but this one it's uh, 20 ounce and these one are 16 ounces so this is why I bought this and it was in clearance at 9.97 again pack of three with the spare uh, straw here so you have these drawers also again twistable jar it's plastic so if you want to infuse your water why not so this is for infusing your water and for my hot water lemon and honey I'm going to use a glass uh, mason jar because I want to see my lemons inside just just for that or I would have used a regular normal uh, coffee mug so this is why I'm using this one here so now we are ready to go and start the recipe it's really easy now I'm going to tell you the ingredients that we will need the products we will need some bottle water this is important not tap water bottle water and I have my Kirkland of course and then cucumber I love the English uh, cucumber here and lemon and I want to add uh, more color so I decided to add uh, some uh, lime too and of course this is ginger if you didn't know how ginger looks this is how it looks so to save just a little time it's really easy what I did I already sliced all of my uh, ingredients here I'm going to zoom it in and I don't know if you can see but I did poke my cucumbers and my lemons and I grated my ginger so this is really easy and when you are at the end of the lemon or the lime don't throw this away I'm going to show you what to do with this and like I said it's not complicated once I slide if you have any uh, seeds just remove the seeds from your lemon just remove them and also make sure that you have uh, clean hands of course and then you take a fork and you just poke 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 and this is how I do it and then your cucum cucumber you do the same you just poke and I did that to give my water more a taste now we are ready to make my hot and of course for my hot uh, water lemon and honey 
you will need some honey. And again, I have the Kirkland honey. I really love it. It's the uh, jar with the beer, bear here. So we're going to start with the hot water lemon so that I can start drinking. And you can see my voice is changing and I have more video to do. And then after that, we're going to do our infused water. So I have my boiler here. My water is hot. And yeah, it seems clean, but the things that you can use with the stainless steel appliance here is you can use something like this one here. It's the 3M stainless steel cleaner and polish. And it really helps keeping the fingerprints out of your stainless steel items in the house. So what I like to do, I like to just throw my lemons inside just a couple of them and like I said this one here don't throw at the end so what you can do you can just squeeze them it's not about wasting I hate wasting products so this is why I'm going to do the same thing with my lime here I'm just going to squeeze it and in this one here I'm not going to put any lime I'm just going to put some lemon so I'm going to throw away another one here third one I'm just going to back it up a little so that you can see now you can see it I have three lemons and then I'm going to add my honey and I'm really generous with the honey here so I'm just putting tons of the I don't I go with taste I don't go with measurements so you go with how you like your your water <laughs> And I have my hot water and I just pour it inside and then take a spoon and mix it and it will infuse and it really helps a lot when you are having a cold or a flu or you just want to feel comfortable and read a book. It's I really love this. It's all natural and also I forgot to say before slicing all of your ingredients of course you wash them thoroughly because you're going to infuse them so you don't want any uh, pesticide or something like that in your water so just make sure that you really really wash carefully your uh, your lemons your cucumbers just make sure okay I just forgot to say that but don't uh, forget to use it so this one it's already with the uh, to drink but I'm going to let it infuse just a little more and now we are going to do our infused water so I'm getting my like this my contigo container here I'm going to remove this so what I will do I will put all of the ingredients my lemons my limes all inside my cucumbers and then ginger I think I grated too much of ginger so I'm just going to put uh, just a little maybe half of it because uh, ginger it's really a uh, strong uh, it has a it's empowering so this is why I'm not going to put all of that and now I'm just going to pour my bottle of waters when you do this more often you will uh, know exactly how much of the ingredients bottle of water that you will need so you will get used to it and it's already beautiful this is why I, I didn't use uh, this one here because all of the ingredients are stuck in the middle of course you can still see them but it's not like this one here I really love seeing all the ingredients flo floating around I really love that and my last bottle here and now I'm done now what you can do you can take just 
a bigger spoon just to mix it up and then now you will let it infuse this is what it is infuse your water for at least one hour and a half before you can even uh, drink it and also once you made your water uh, you have to drink it fast you, like uh, don't put it in the fridge and keep it in the fridge for a week you have to consume it like the day or the day after or it will not be uh, as good as uh, it was supposed to so don't waste the uh, uh, water and your ingredients if you want to make just uh, in little uh, jars like this you can do it just maybe uh, keep your slice uh, in your fridge and prepare uh, each day your water so that you don't waste so uh, I made the bigger one because I think I'm going to give some uh, to my mother this is why uh, I make in this one here so now this baby is ready to infuse and after that what you will do you will remove all the this is why with this one here it's easier because you don't have to you know go around and bottle with and bottle with your ingredients your slices inside of the water to take them out this is why this thing is really handy but it's a preference I love to see my ingredients like this this is why I did it like that and also what you can do you can also add a mint into it I didn't have any mint on hand so this is why I didn't add any mint and and when you are going to remove and when you are uh, ready to remove all the slices and you don't want the tiny bits of the ginger you can see them in the bottom you don't want them in your glass or whatever you can use this here to filtrate uh, all of your water so that it keeps all the ginger uh, pieces in this one here so that you will not have any ginger in your uh, drink when you are ready to drink it thanks for watching and I know I give lots of information but this is how I am and I don't think that I will change it but I am always trying to uh, keep my video on the lower side but I will still give some infos. This is how I am. I will not cut on uh, the infos that I can give you and where you can buy things and everything. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. And again, don't take this like, um, like oh my God, I, uh, God give me an answer. Sorry. Nothing like that. Don't take everything serious. This this thing works for me, infused water. I really feel like not bloated and I really feel my stomach getting like flat. But like I said, if you want a flat belly, you have to exercise, you have to change your eating habits and everything. Just an infused water, will. it's not a miracle a recipe or anything like that. You can, if you really feel like bloated, do this water it will help you and you will feel just good about yourself and uh, just keep in mind the warns, warnings that i did tell you in the beginning and now i'm going to enjoy my hot drink with my lemons and honey because i feel that i need it and i have other videos to make so i will go and get prepared put some makeup on and i will do my other videos so thanks again and see you on my next video. Bye!